Here we are, and the rain still falls. It's maiden hurdle over three miles. Albino Saints is number one for James Shea, Crusader King for Paul O'Neill, Jaff and I am for Ryan Gosling, Oriental Investment for Mr. Rogers, out of the gloom for John, Tahiti Noise for Alex Cherry, Viva La Rock for Kevin Minahan, Plainly Dangerous for Martin Leland, and the White Witch for Joshua Sutherland. The start has got them away. The line runner three mile hurdle event. Here at Kemp in the rain. Heavy conditions. And it's the simple minds maiden. I wonder who named that. As we know, our president and leader is a big Simple Minds fan. Just a little of those newbies that didn't realise Mr. Clutterbuck loves Simple Minds. Anyway, through the third. See ya. I've got a line of horses. Nobody really wants to take this on, although two people are pushing out now. Albino Saints and the White Witch leading us into the first hurdle. There's only a couple of lengths between the uh, whole nine. One widest of all is plainly dangerous and Martin Needham in the purple silks. The inside of that looks like Oriental Investment. The grey between there is Viva La Rock. And then the one over against the fence is Alex Tahiti Noise. They get to the second. Everybody's over that bit of a mistake there by John's Out of the Glue. In the light blue silks and the yellow cap. But up front is Albino Saints, joined by Jaffa Nian. It's the white which just a little ball. Oh, too soon, the grey there in his own. But it's Jeff and Ian that leads us now. With Albino Saints. Albino Saints, sorry. The White Witch is his third and they're out of the gloom. And into investment, the other grey. Orange cap. Wide of those is oh no, sorry, that's Viva La Rock with the orange cap. Oriental investment's the one closest to us. A length or so back to Crusader King. And then Tahiti Noise and Plainly Dangerous. We've got them all to pass. We're nearly through a mile now. And we have three hurdles. But it's Jeff and Iron. We'll lead them into the next. We have Barno Saints. Going into investment. We'll stay pretty close together here. So it's Jeff and Iron. Albano Saints, Albino, Albano. We'll just call it one of those. Preferred Albino is much easier. They go up and over the fourth. And it skips over that well. It's testing conditions. I'd like to difficult to peg back if you can get a bit of a lead. It's Jeff and Ryan from Albano Saints, Oriental Investment, Beaver of Rock. Followed through by Out of the Gloom and the White Witch against the Fence. A length and a half back to Crusader King. Tahiti Noise and Plainly Dangerous. Starting to slip off the back of the pack now. Jockey's starting to scrub him along a little bit. We've still got a mile and a half to travel. And it's still Jaff and Iron. It leads us. Ryan Costello. Maybe this is your winner. Unless you've already had one. This week. He leads him into the fifth. Halfway through the hurdles. Jeff and Iron still leads us. From Oriental Investment. The grey against the fence now is Viva La Rock. And followed through by the White Witch. John's out of the gloom. He's wider. We get to the six. Ooh, big high jump there by Crusader King. Thought he was going over a fence there. And just to the rear is Tahiti Noise and Plainly Dangerous. So it's still Jeff and Iron. From Viva La Rock in second. Of the Albano Saints, the White Witch against the fence, having a plum run round. Out wide is out of the gloom. Oriental investment. Crusader King still there. And the two at the rear at the moment. A couple of old timers, plainly dangerous and Tahiti noise. I'm not talking about the horses, I'm talking about the trainers. But it's Jeff and Iron being challenged now by Albano Saints, who takes it up and leads them over the seventh. Skips over that. It's like the rear was Tahiti Noise. But it's Albano Saints. It's going to lead them to the next. Viva La Rock and Jaffa Nine. These three are together. A length and a half back to the White Witch and out of the gloom. Further length and a half to Oriental Investment. Crusader King's still there. And then we've got a bit of a gap. About four. To Plainly Dangerous. And even further now, being towed off is Tahiti Noise. We're inside the six now. There's Jaffa Nine. Viva La Rock and Albano Saints. He's got a length and a half on now at the Gloom and the White Witch. He's 
they approach the next with Fever of Rock, Jaff and Iron, Albano Saints, one, two, and three. Out of the gloom being pushed along a little bit, white, the White Witch struggling a little bit in these conditions as they swing right handed now. And we'll line up to the judge, half a mile left to travel. It's Viva La Rock, Albano Saints, Jaff and Iron out of the gloom. Jockey sitting steady on him. And you've got the White Witch. Couple of links back to Oriental Investment and Crusader King are all off the bridle now, but it's Albano Saints, three furlongs from home. Leads now by a length and a half from Viva La Rock, out of the gloom, tries to make up some ground. The White Witch turns on the gas. One dropping back now is Jaffa Nyan, but it's Albano Saints that leads by a length and a half to Viva La Rock, out of the gloom, and the White Witch is going to be between these, all over the ninth. Including the tail enders, but it's Albano Saints still by about three to out of the gloom. Viva La Rock and the White Witch. He got a furlong left to travel and they've got to really try and reel him in in these conditions. He's over the last, but he was slow and it's given out of the gloom a chance to challenge. It's Albano Saints out of the gloom. Viva La Rock and the White Witch on the outside, but it's pushing in front now. Is out of the gloom, leads by just a length. The one that's got White Witch, I don't know what he was doing there, but out of the gloom. Didn't concentrate again uh, for Joshua there, the White Witch. I just got pushed across. The finish line came to me a little bit quicker than I thought. There's a win there for John Morgan. With his out of the gloom. Albano Saints, I think, was uh, Mr. Shade's horse for second. Viva La Rock. Not too sure of those colours yet. I'll wait for the card to come up. Move out of the gloom for John Morgan that takes it. Second was Albano Saints for James Shea. Fever Rock for Kevin Meenham. Well done there. Third, fourth was the White Witch for Joshua Sutherland. And fifth was Crusader King for Paul O'Neill.